welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, Gungans and Druids, and all you turkey eating lovers out there, you're watching Idle Howling at News, the only news you'll ever need because you have no other choice. <laughs> For all my folks in the U.S. of A, hope you had an amazing Thanksgiving. And for the rest of the galaxy out there, happy Friday, happy Thursday. We got ourselves our kid reveal for Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, General Sindula. I mean, there's some interesting things cooking in this kitchen. Let me tell you, we got Fracture, some new thing called Perfect Defense. This is Shape of the Bee. A really good character, it seems like, if you're not gonna be getting Galactic Legend Ahsoka anytime soon. I guess funny enough as well, Gary, I guess we can, I guess safely assume Fridays are gonna be the new kit reveal with these new changes, with the beautiful episode track. Oh, well, you guys love that thing, right? I bet you guys are having a ball with these Galactic Challenges lately. Anyways, it seems like they're doing kit reveals on Friday now, because updates are now on Monday. So I guess that means going into the weekend, we have kit reveals. I think that's kind of a fun way to go into your week. It's like, oh man, what's the next big character for next week? Because who Yang was that way? Harris Sandula or General Sandula. I'm sorry. It's going to be the same way as well. Before we get into the kit reveal, I want to let you guys know very, very quickly that if you are someone that likes to wail on these beautiful Lightspeed bundles, only until Monday, December 2nd, CG is running a special on the General Anakin Skywalker Lightspeed bundle and the hyperdrive bundle where if you type in the code hyper20 they'll get you 20 percent off so that's you know ten dollars off the general anakin lightsy bundle the only thing that's holding the gas bundle back is it's you know on the more expensive side of things but man take it up ten dollars it's a great bundle overall and uh, i want to give a big shout out because i had not known this unless it was for our beautiful beautiful friend over here spurs nation ftw i don't know if this was an email or something but it started on 11 26 but the gas lightsy bundle showed up yesterday so i just want to let you guys know in case you're you got some extra money in your pocket. Maybe you got your grandma's three wacky numbers on the back of that weird plastic card. Yeah, okay. Well, let's get now into the General Sindula Oblongata kit reveal. Now, the only thing that's uh, that's kind of unfortunate, boy, tags be lacking here. Leader support Spectre, that's it. However, 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 in case you guys did not know, we are expanding the Spectre faction a little bit we are going to be getting for example chopper and ahsoka town of fulcrum are both going to be getting the specter tag we already knew that but furthermore even though zeb is not getting the specter tag there are so many zeb call outs i think it's safe to assume zeb is going to end up on this team which kind of works out because zeb for the most part is generally left out of the phoenix lineup you know you generally have your hera you have your kanan you have your chopper uh that's gonna be a biggest problem putting chopper out of the phoenix lineup in here who that could be a bit of an issue here so as a reminder as well relic five required for galactic legend ahsoka Tau. they're going easy on us after three relic nines and six marquee and it's like all right fine we'll make it relic five not relic seven and the marquee is going to be next tuesday which guess what we're going to be locked and loaded, testing her out in our video gaming division. So let's get down to business. Let's look at what we have here. We have the Blurred 1120 Holdout Blaster. I guess there's no gifts. We got to play their funky little video that they have going on here. Deal physical damage. The target enemy, if the enemy is buffed, call another random Spectre ally to assist and dispel all buffs on the target enemy. And then on Hera's turn, call a random light side droid to assist. Huh? I wonder, I wonder. Yeah, I'm not wondering who wrote the Book of Love. I'm wondering what that droid's gonna be. Chances are they're trying to make sure Hu Yang gets a lot of play action out there. He hits like a freaking truck. He's the light side dark trooper. I just really, we never really got around to focusing on <laughs> Hu Yang kind of doing a review on him. Boy, the past week's update has been kind of a mess. So that's been taking more of a precedence, but Hu Yang really fun of a lot of droid action out there. And I guess we're gonna see a little bit more action with her, but I guess if, who knows maybe chopper will end up on this team can't imagine unless they rework chopper's kit to provide benefits to specter allies because right now he's mostly a phoenix specific thing here i'm assuming this is mostly gonna be a who yang thing and again although we're looking at her from a lens today with her leading a team of her own it's safe to say she's probably gonna end up in a galactic legend ahsoka lineup so being able to call who yang to assist in that lineup ooh could be pretty nasty could be pretty nasty and then yeah did i see that light droid alley assist dealing five percent more damage for each active specter alley who yang kind of blew my mind i was not expecting to be a damage dealer but they designed it to be that way then we have polling rank unfortunately it's still loading fix your video cg 
I think I think they're probably still in a food coma after Thanksgiving. All right, we'll let it we'll let it slide today. Cooldown of three. The spell all debuffs on target. Spectre ally. Then they gain defense up. Tenacity up. And the target ally oh for two turns. Let's not forget that. It's for two turns. But then target ally. Oof. Again, I'm thinking in the context of GL Ahsoka. Ooh, this could be scary. Target ally gets 10% off within 10 speed for one turn, but an additional 10% offense, 10 speed for each debuff dispelled this way. This is very Captain Rex, all young Rex reminiscent, but man, imagine if there's five debuffs on you, you're gonna get an additional 50% offense and 50 speed, and then you get the other 10 and 10. So what is that, 50, 60% offense, 60 speed? You gotta be very careful with your debuffs now. Ooh, that is, that's a little scary here. We're not done yet, people. <sighs> Spectre allies who have defense up and tenacity up, dispel them, and now they get a new effect called perfect defense for two turns, which can't be copied. Now, what is this? Well, perfect defense feels a little reminiscent of that. You know, when you fight bounty hunters inside of Conquest, they have that, I can't remember what it's called, but they have a ton of defense. It seems something like that. They have 200% defense. They resist detrimental effects. So it's basically, <laughs> A baked in tenacity up immune to defense up and tenacity which again makes sense they're already getting a ton of defense and they're already being immune to detrimental effects yeah this is a marquee character people that's pretty nasty but people 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 we aren't done and i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie this next ability irritates me a little bit not in a bad way i guess it could be interpreted as a bad way first off let's just play the animation for the second special i'm just not just gonna sit around cool down a five and zeta Harrison Dula is going to have fractures. I, you know, I feel bad for Grand Admiral Thrawn, man. Uh, I, I kind of miss when, like, we let Malgus be the only one with a certain debuff or, you know, Thrawn with his own debuff. It feels like, you know, everyone's kind of copping the, those debuffs. Like, it doesn't make them feel especially more. This is a Marquee character. It's not a legendary like Thrawn. All I can hope for is maybe Thrawn, I don't know, get a rework, touch up, Omicron, I don't know, Galactic Legend Thrawn, perhaps, to make him feel a bit more special. Anyways, let me read the ability to you. Deal true damage to all enemies. You already sold me there. All right, we can move on. No, no, let's keep going though. Remove 50% terminator from enemies of 50% or more terminator. So it's got like an old Ben mechanic almost. Just up, yank, yoink your terminator away. But no, there's more. This is kind of oddly worded. I think there's more to come, but it says dispel fracture from all enemies and then inflict the target enemy with fracture until the each other enemy has taken one turn or they are defeated which can't be dispelled evaded or resisted we'll dissect this in a moment if the target enemy has no other active skill inflict fracture or sorry an active skill what am i reading here if the target enemy has no other active ally inflict fracture until general studula takes her next turn so it's kind of like galactic legend Leia in a way right the strongest ally tank taunts it's gonna be important in a moment as we're gonna talk about and they gain protection of 50 percent for two turns so first things first i am the realist i know that but it says dispel fracture from all enemies and then inflict target with fracture in this kit i mean i'm reading through it for the fifth time now i didn't see anything that says harris and general Sindula has an aoe fracture that's number one so maybe galactic legend so katana's gonna have a fracture too i mean we know that galactic legend leia's got an aoe fracture but I don't know, maybe maybe that's what they're compensating for. Number two, there was no way to remove or you know, cleanse, what did they say? Yeah, what did they say? They, she cleanses Fracture? fracture? And for, yeah, so uh, dispel, yeah, dispel Fracture from all enemies, which is weird because Fracture is generally an undispellable effect, right? So I don't know, some, some oddities going on here. So nonetheless, Harrison Dill, a marquee unit, has got a pretty nasty Fracture, Termian, Hovel, Deal True Damage, all enemies. I don't know, maybe Sindula learned a few things with her uh, adversary Thrawn uh, <laughs> being her competitor for a couple seasons there, huh? Anyways, let's talk more about this ally tank thing. Let's move forward a bit. Unauthorized mission, Zeta and Omicron. This is a unique ability here. At the start of each Spectre ally's turn, they gain 40% defense penetration if they have exile or perfect defense until the end of their turn. Whenever a Spectre ally with perfect defense use the special ability, they deal true damage to all enemies which can't be evaded this is basically a more potent version of the bad batch's defense up right they have defense up they deal true damage well guess what she's copping some bad batch stuff it's like what happened hey, come on let the bad batch have their thing no no Hera's like i want a little bit of this i want a little bit of that it's like you know a little bit of bad batch in my life a bit a bit of, a little bit of fracture by my son that that must be what he made, made the song for 
And then Wallace back their ally. Or oh, here we go. Garazab, Zab, Aurelios is taunting all other non-Spectre allies and Zeb had plus 25% demons. We're going to see a few more Zeb things here. You might be asking yourself, well, wait, wait, wait. Zeb, he doesn't taunt. He is a tank, but he doesn't taunt anywhere in his kit. Well, let's go back a step here. Let's go back a step. Remember, the strongest ally tank taunts and gains protection up for two turns. Right now, let's just ignore everything else. I'm assuming General Sundula, Hu Yang, Padawan, Sabine, uh, then either take Ezra, Chopper, in the last few spots, maybe. There, none of those guys are tanks. And Chopper is like a fake tank, but he's not like a real tank. I think this is basically just forcing Zeb to taunt. So he's not getting a Spectre tag. They kind of explained it why they are not planning on giving Zeb the Spectre tag. You can pause and read it for yourself. They basically just don't know the current status of Zeb and Hera's relationship and all that inside. You know, we saw a little brief snippet of Zeb. I think it was Mandalorian, right? It was like an after credit thing or whatever. But they, they're not giving a tag, but they're still making him a part of the team. But moving on, though, same unique ability. Whenever a buff is dispelled from an enemy, Spectre allies gain, and Zeb gain 15% turn meter. Oh, man. this It's like, man, we're really kind of, again, on paper, it seems really good. It feels like we're really kind of blurring the lines between Marquee and Legendary. Is that, that, is that why they made that one song? Blurred lines. Yeah, yeah. They, they're talking about the, they're talking about Marquee and Legendary kits. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it took us a decade to figure out what the meaning of that song was, right? <laughs> whenever an enemy, uh, whenever enemy units have their turn meter manipulated, well, hmm, I guess 50% turn meter is considered manipulation. However, I want to remind you of this. Yes, we have turn meter removal on a uh, Hera's kit here. The enemy can be manipulating their own turn meter. A random a Spectre ally gains defense up in Tenacity for one turn. So, for example, General Veers, they're technically turn meter manipulation, right? Because they can gain turn meter. It's being manipulated in a positive direction. Manipulation means positive or negative, correct? Right? So that's going to be kind of uh, nice. So getting tenacity up and defense up there. Okay. But check it out. Whenever perfect defense expires on a Spectre ally, they gain benefits based on their role. If they're an attacker, they get offense up. Tanks, protection up. Supports and healers gain speed up for two turns. And we do have territory where Omicrons, you know, again, when they when they build up these new factions, they kind of give a little bit to everyone. You know, this character's for territories, this character's for raids, this character's for territory battles, this one's for Grand Arena. But check it out. Check it out. In Territory Wars, Spectre Allies and Zeb have a 100% counter chance in potency. So kind of bringing in that like Kanan unique ability almost with a counter chance. And then whenever a Spectre Ally or Zeb, I feel like it just would have been easier just giving Zeb the Spectre tag. Since when do you guys care that much about always being lore accurate? We don't really know technically. <laughs> yeah, okay. Do I need to... No, no, no. We're not going to talk about Genite Luke's, you know, tags and all that. <laughs> anyway, whenever Spectre Ally or Zeb recovers health, other Spectre Allies and Zeb recover half that amount at the end of that turn. Oh, man. It's, it's, it's like you're double dipping, basically, right? And then whenever a Spectre Ally or Zeb attacks on a turn, well, 100% counter chance to help out with that. They remove 15% turn meter from the target enemy. And guess what? That's going to funnel into the turn meter manipulation that we just read up above there. And then the first time a Spectre ally or Zeb loses all their protection, they're going to recover 50% protection. <laughs> and if I understand this, hold on. Oh, no, so that's only for recovering health. All right, I was going to double check. This, uh, this first part here, whenever a Spectre allies or Zeb recovers health, it doesn't say protection. But hold on, we're not done yet. Whenever a Spectre Alley or Zeb is stunned, they dispel them and inflict buff unity and healing unity for one turn on all enemies. Yeah. Okay. So you can't just hopefully stun lock them and roll a train around them. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't stun them. You're going to get some nasty B bu D buffs. Yeah, D buffs thrown right back at you. Man, shoot, man. Again, marquee unit. We're not done yet. We have a leader ability. New Republic General. The best way I can really describe Hera, she seems like a 10x version of Hux. Remember when you get Hux? Yeah, he kind of like held on to the First Order until Supreme Leader Kylo Ren came around. But man, this seems vastly better than Hux. I guess to be fair, Hux was announced, what, 2019? Oh, five years ago? It's been, no. It's been, it's been five years since Hux got added to the game. Let's just, I, I, no, 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 no. No, 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 <laughs> impossible. All right, well, uh, New Republic General. Wow, at the start of that battle, at the start of the battle, Spectre Allies and Garazab, Zab, Aurelios gained 50% max health, max protection. <clears throat> and let me uh, warm up my vocals for a second. 
<laughs> 150 speed for one turn. Did you guys miss that? One more time. At the start of the battle, you're going to get 50% max health, max protection, and 150 speed for one turn. Okay, then. Righty. Uh, on their turn, Spectre allies can ignore taunt to target an enemy with exile or fracture. Again, I'm a little confused with the fracture because right now, I mean, Hera's got a fracture, but I'm not seeing where's the AoE fracture coming from. She could dispel all fracture, she said. I'm not, again, I'm assuming maybe Ahsoka's going to have something. But exile... You know, Ezra Bridger Exile can pass stuff on to the enemy. But again, even Exile, we're not seeing too much. But he only has one. He passed it over and that's it. But anyways, at the start of each Spectre Allies and Zeb's turn, they gain offense equal to 50% of their defense until the end of their turn. I have this theory. It's not a crazy theory. I have crazier theories about Galaxy Rose. One of them is Datacrons are a way for them to test out abilities for future kits. I think a lot would agree. We've seen tons of Datacrons that offer this on a level six. You know, I think we have one right now, don't we? Yeah, we have one right now for mercenaries. They lose, you know, 50% of their defense and they or a bit of their defense and they get a ton of offense. Something based on that. They get off equal to 50% of their defense. All right. Enemies with exile and off balance. So off balance is exclusive to things like, you know, Padawan Sabine. Exile and off balance, they deal 20% less damage. So it's almost like a almost like dark not dark for getting og getting being able to put you know the debuff on to reduce their damage a little bit something like that making off balance a little bit more beneficial right and if the enemy with fracture the feeder move 100 percent turn meter from all enemies wow which can't be evaded or resisted whenever specter ally deals multiple instances of damage on their turn they inflict six stacks of damage over time to the target enemy for one turn um whew, yeah i mean just for example you know ezra bridge exile's got multiple instances of damage right 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 and then the for and then even uh ahsoka tata fulcrum she's gonna get the specter attack she attacks multiple instances of damage right and then the first time a specter alley man i feel like i'm uh i am I, I feel like i might be underestimating this let's say if, let's say if ahsoka tata fulcrum hits five times does she inflict 30 stacks of damage over time or only six because man if she hits for the six stacks of damage over time for each additional hit Ooh, that's gonna be nasty and then the first time a specter alley or zeb is reduced to 30 percent they recover 50 percent health and protection now remember again i don't want to like repeat myself but remember up above whenever a specter alley or zeb recovers health they're gonna recover half that amount again so they're gonna be double dipping here so the first time specter alley or zeb's health is reduced to 30 percent they recover 50 percent health and protection the first time a Spectre allies or Zeb's health reaches 1%, they dispel all debuffs on themselves, gain damage unity for one turn, and take a bonus turn and gain 100% offense on their next turn. And if an enemy is defeated in this turn, that ally recovers 50% health and protection. Otherwise, that ally is defeated. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm going to read that one more time. When the Spectre allies or Zeb reaches 1% health, they dispel all debuffs on themselves, they gain damage unity, take a bonus turn, 100% offense and jeez I'm assuming there's gonna be some good hits especially if all this offense ramping we're, we're gonna have throughout this kit and then uh th then if the enemy's defeated on this turn that other because it recovers 50% of protection otherwise the ally is defeated man it's kind of like an all or nothing your final stand can you take someone down if not get out of here but if you take someone down guess what you're gonna be staying in the battle a little bit longer man again marquee unit I want to remind you guys marquee and on paper this seems really darn good really darn good um and remember she is i'm assuming i'm gonna be using the galactic legend of soka tunnel lineup right you're gonna have geo soka i'm guessing padawan sabine padawan sabine I'm, I'm waiting for her to wild me i haven't seen that yet hu yang general sandula ezra bridger exile <sighs> minus sabine which hasn't been wild me yet this is shaping up to be a really scary galactic legend team but you know what <laughs> there's still time we still have one more kit, and that's the Crown Jewel herself, Galactic Legend of Soka Tano. And I'm assuming probably through the next week or two, we're going to learn more about that. But thank you guys so much for stopping by. Leave that like, comment down below. Enjoy your weekend. And more importantly, always remember that it's great to be. Hold it. In the Empire, hold it. Two, hold on. Today.